you need to be able to show people that you can do what you say you can do. Um, and if you're just a screenwriter, then that means writing a really kick-ass script and putting it in front of somebody and making the first page so good that they have to keep reading to page five and making the first five pages so good they have to keep reading to page 10 and making the first 10 pages so good that they never put it down until they get to the last page and they have to pick up the phone and call you as soon as they're done. That's how good your script has to be. And it can't be that good that you can't think it's that good. All your friends have to read it and think, holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever read. Can I say that on your... Yeah, please. We're on the internet, right? Yeah, yeah, please. We'll, we'll and, censor it for the ratings. Okay. And, uh, and then your friends have to show it to their friends. And people who don't even know you have to read this and think, this is the best thing I've ever read. I can't wait to see this on television or in the movies. And when you have a script that's getting that kind of reaction from your friends, then you can walk into somebody's store and say, here, this is what I can do. Read this and you will hire me. And you'll have that confidence to go into the room and exude that. And if you have that confidence, people will read that first page. If you walk into somebody's office and you feel that way about your material, and you know without a shadow of a doubt that this is a great script, that gets across to people and they'll read your first page. But if your first page is amateurishly written, they're going to stop right there. Somebody sent me a great idea, and it was one of the few times uh, in the last year where somebody contacted me, said, hey, I have this idea for a movie. I've written a script. Would you read it? And the, the, the pitch, uh, which they actually broke the rules, and they sent me the pitch in the very first email so that I had, you know, I would have had to stop reading and, you know, to not have been exposed to the idea. And fortunately, it was not an idea I already had. Um, but it was an interesting idea. And so I said, sure, send me the script. And, you know, we did a release form, and they sent me the script. And I, I got the script, and I was really excited to read it. And on the first page, I opened it up, and it wasn't even formatted properly. Um, and I read the first page, and, and they weren't writing in proper sentences. And I had to slog through this thing to figure out what they were trying to say. And I gave up after a couple of pages because they just, they'd abused me, basically. They'd stolen my time, they'd wasted my time on something that wasn't a professional product that could never be produced in its current state. And maybe if I had forced myself to read the whole script, there would have been a, a nugget in there that was a great idea. And with some work, you know, I could have pounded the script into shape and tried to do something with it. But who has that time? And who knows? You could get to the end of this 120-page script. It takes you two hours out of a very busy day. And you get to the end, and it could all have been crap, even, even though that one-sentence pitch they sent me was a good idea. So you got to be sure. And you can't just read it yourself and think it's great. Other people have to be telling you it's great.